This is an amazing exhibit because we actually have authentic Viking artifacts here from you know, a thousand years ago. They're from Viking settlements in the UK, Viking settlements in the, in the, in the Norse countries and also into Russia, the Ukraine, the Baltic coast, pretty much anywhere the Vikings went, we have artifacts here that represent their culture and their day-to-day -day life. History Channel has a new TV show called Vikings and it's very successful and it shows these people in a multi-dimension form. I mean, you see the warrior, and but what we're trying to do here, we're trying to show their spirituality, their culture, their day-to-day -day life. So there's artifacts here from certainly you'll see the axes, the battle axes and the swords, but you'll also see things like their spiritual pieces, their jewelry, their self-adornment, and these objects are authentic. I got interested in Vikings over 10 years ago. In our company, Titanic Concepts, we produce museum exhibits for leased other museums around the world. We have one on Titanic, one on medieval punishment, one on restraints, and now one on the Vikings. So this is the first time that this has appeared in a Canadian venue. We've been collecting, my wife and I, for 10 years. These items come from private collectors. They're metal detector surface finds. Nobody's out there looting archeological sites, but these are things that were found prior to 1980, and they come from all the varied locations where the Vikings had settled. And it's really interesting, Canada has a very close connection to Vikings. I mean, North America was discovered by the Vikings, not Christopher Columbus. Lanso Meadows, Newfoundland, we have a Viking settlement, and they recently found another one on Newfoundland soil. So there's good Canadian content here for any schools thinking of coming down. There's actually two pieces in the collection that I really like. One is a bronze, it's a Viking longboat, it's bronze and it's coated with gold leaf. And this was found in the grave of a prominent Viking person. They were someone of status to have this. And the other one that I really like is a necklace pendant and it shows a Valkyrie, which is a female Viking warrior. She's carrying a drinking horn and this would have been worn on a necklace. And the Valkyrie were the, the legendary female warriors that chose the slain in battle and transported them to the halls of Valhalla. This is the Viking mythology. It's interesting because it shows us the prominent place that women had in Viking society. People don't know this, but in Viking society, women could become the Earl. The woman could rule. The woman could own as much land as she wanted or was, you know, fated to have. So it's a lot different than what came later in the Middle Ages. It was a fair society. Everybody was truly equal. I, I think what, what separates the Vikings from all ancient cultures or ancient civilizations that really is their lure is how brave they were. I mean, these people set out across oceans in, in small ships. We see this uh, age of exploration, this daring do, this daredevil, you know, devil may care attitude with the Vikings. Uh, they wanted to find out what was in the world. They went out and discovered it. And maybe we wish chained to a desk or sitting behind a computer. We had a bit of that in ourselves. So the Vikings have that lure.